Welcome to Watch, React, and Evaluate Class of 24. Today we're taking a look at Jordan Thomas, a massive defensive lineman. He is six foot five, 325 pounds from Don Brosco Prep out of Ramsey, New Jersey. He is a four star according to the On3 industry ranking, the 18th best defensive lineman in the country, and the number one player in the state of New Jersey. Jordan Thomas is headed south from the bricks to play between the hedges for the University of Georgia. Jordan Thomas, you are a big dog, but I'm see if you're ready to jump off the porch. You about to get WRE, my man, and ranked Georgia style. All right, let's get into this deal. Let's see what he talk about, man. Got the big old dude out here playing defensive end. Huh, let's go. I love the effort play. Mm, great play right here. I always talk about effort and how important it is. Big man playing defensive end. He giving it his all. Go chase him down backside, baby. Look how athletic that is. Golly. 325 pounds slide and get right up. <laughs> Ain't too many dudes over 300 pounds doing that, man. Working, working. You know, big long arms going to work. I'm loving it, man. Got to use some disengagement techniques here. Okay. We're going to push the sled, but for so long. Here we are. We on there. All right. I don't like, I don't necessarily like the fact that you don't attack him. Kind of step up a little bit. Okay. Attack. Now we got to disengage at some point so we can get to the ball carry. He seems to be super athletic. Like I say, 325, that's a lot of weight and moving. Mm, there we go. Extend him out. Oh, quarterback got smashed. So I'm loving it again. Make a move. Now that you engage, extend them arms, extend him out, right? Now you can disengage on him. Mm, boy, your homeboy came and got one at the end. God, look. Okay. A lot of people won't run that realize what he did, okay, which is great. A lot of coaches teach this, especially if you get a tight end to this side. You're going to attack the tight end first, right? Attack the inside. In case it's a double team, you want to attack him first. So this is actually pretty good technique, right? Gonna attack that inside first to make sure it's not okay. It's a pass. Now turn on. Let's go. Good job right there, man. That's a great job. There you go. Come on. Good way to throw him off, big dog. Uh, extend him out. Extend him out. Uh, throw him down. Let's go make a tackle. Jordan, super exciting, super athletic. There you go. That's what I like to see. Get rid of them quickly, right? See how fast you disengaged off that guy? Perfect. I don't know what's happening here. Hold on. Let's go back. Where are you at? So lost. Oh, here you go. Defense. Okay, here you go. Uh, I have to be honest. I And again, I don't know if it's taught or not. I'm just talking about me. I don't like the lateral step. We're not gaining ground. Let's gain ground. You may be being taught that. I don't know. But I should be attacking this dude right in there, always gaining ground. Maybe he was anticipating the outside zone or something like that. Not sure. Good hands right there, baby. Good hands. There you go. Good snatch. Come on, let's go. See, these are the plays I like. When you get to these interior defense alignments, I love the fact they show effort. And his tape shows a lot of effort, man. Look at this. Huh. Go chase it down. Don't give up. Mm, make the play. Yes, sir. He's got active hands. I just wish they would be more violent at the point of contact. Let's go, big dog. <laughs> big boy fell on it, man. I'm loving it. See, here's a perfect example of what I mean about violent hands, right? He meets a big guy, not a little old lineman. All right, so he seems to have good sides as well. You got to have those jarring hands when you get on this guy. Put them on him. You want to let him know that you're there, right? I don't want to just meet up, but I love the way that you did disengage on that. Perfect. Good way to slide down the line with him. Let's go make a play. Great play right there. You get a down block, 
slide down the line with them, go make a play, go chase the ball. There you go. Good spin move, baby. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, he going to be a prophecy right now at Georgia. Him playing inside, right? Possibly a nose, maybe playing some three. Oh, yes, sir. Playing some three technique as well. I could definitely see him being a problem in there. All right, real quick, you're going to see them down block, but he's going to step wide. Again, not sure why. If they down block right, right here, see, he steps wide. He should be engaging out here, keeping outside free. Now, when this guy comes, yes, did a good job. Like he gave you one because you're a little high. But what do you do? You keep the inside open. If I step down in here, now I can strict this hole. So when me and him meet, we meet right here. Now there's nothing for him to do. This ball has to now bounce outside. You already have the outside leverage, and this guy can come help you. All right, watch this. Boom. So now, if you're tighter, I don't get in coaching, but follow me. This, this crease is not here and you taking away this blocker. He has to now come here, number three, and you already here and your homeboy is out here. But instead he slips inside and gets a gain off that play. Hope I didn't get too coachy, guys. Maybe these are stunts. I'm not sure why they're taking these, these wide slides. Right, you got a guy here outside, he's outside. You left it wide open here. See? I'm not sure. Hopefully that's just coaching. Come on, big dog. Let's go, big baby. I'm loving it. There we go. Let's get straight into your, your rankings. Jordan Thomas, I believe Kirby Smart, his staff have found the man in the middle. Size, blue chip, 6'5", 325 pounds. My man, you are a massive human being. Speed, gold chip. Man, you move extremely well. You're very agile there in the box. And what I love is that you get after the ball and you got good speed doing so. Effort, gold chip. I love the way that you never give up on the play. Like I say, in your highlight, you got plenty of plays where you're chasing the ball down, right? You throw the guy in the hole and you go get the ball. You're not lackadaisical. You're not going with the flow and your tape is not showing tackles that are being made right there. A lot of your plays are you have to go get them. Fundamentals and technique, silver chip. Right here, there's a lot that you have to learn with your hands. You gotta be able to be violent, use different techniques. You have to also, and again, I'm not really sure why there's a lot of lateral movement in there and not forward movement. Coach is not really clear. You may be being coached to do so, but I haven't seen that very often. And it wasn't like stunts or anything being done. So there's a lot that you're going to have to learn how to use your hands, especially on those double teams and those double team blocks when it comes to the next level. Intangibles, gold chip. Man, like I said, you, you're doing what coaches want you to do. You're right on par for that. Nothing super extraordinary. I want you to be able to strip the ball out of there, throwing guys out the hole, being able to long arm them, fight those double teams, all of the stuff that coaches really can't coach and like a big, massive human being just taking over. Jordan Thomas, you are a gold chip athlete when it comes to Coach Hayes football. I can't wait to watch you on Saturdays playing for the Bulldogs, representing that G on the side of the helmet. So if you're a Georgia Bulldog fan and you super excited about this recruiting class, do me a favor. I need you to hit that subscribe button over there. Yell out, go dogs!" while you're doing it. And Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.